So I've introduced insert sphere and the general process. The first step, so that would be the end of that note section. And now I'm going to show you a new thing. I'm going to show you how you check your proportions and get a realistic freehand um, uh, grid system in place. All right, and that's through grids or through the floor. So I'm going to go turn on floor with Z on. I'm going to come up into draw, and I'm going to set my fill mode to zero. And, and this is really important, I'm going to set ELV, elevation to zero. That's really important. I'll explain what it does. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll draw it. The grid is literally intersecting with the model right now. Somewhere right around where this green line is. That elevation determines what happens and how that operates. So let's open up the tray. Watch. Let me zoom in if I can. Watch what happens to this grid. Watch it move back in space. You see how now it's way back in space. If you set this to n negative one, then it will be, or should be, and there are variables, it should always be up against the back of your model. There are other variables at play right now that have pushed it off. But that's where it should be. Now, uh, what happened there? Okay. I'm going to return that to some random number. If you set it at zero, then it is technically speaking at real world zero. Mads, you want me to uh, increase the opacity? One sec, guys. I agree with you. Let's just make sure that it's really clear. Mads, where are you saying you're talking about this guy? Okay, you're not talking about preference and draw. Okay, you guys can see that a little bit better? Let me set it all the way to one. Great. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, so we've got this. That makes a big difference with where that is. You can go in front as well. Let's set that to zero and let's get real world coordinates though. Right there at the zero mark. That's what makes the, the most difference in this guy and uh, and it means that it's just easier with perspective being on you don't have the uh, grid getting perspective in it too and getting off axes like that it's just there and now there's just subtle tweaks how are we going to adjust the size of this guy where it's going to be positioned things like that well the first thing we need to know is that we want this head to be one of these units. So right now it's taking up one, two, three, 3.5. How can we change that? Tiles? Up and down? Four looked pretty promising. All right, let's make sure that there's enough of these guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight head portion. Jeff is uh, mentioning unify the mesh. For those who aren't familiar with it, this is always something to try out. But I don't want to introduce too many interface items. Let's see if we can monkey through this and uh, see if there's any way that we can kind of 
operate that. Because right now we have a problem where we don't have enough. Let's see what happens if we start to increase the size. Let's set it to 12. Let's set our tiles a little higher. Set it to 12 probably. It's a nice multiplier. Do we have enough? Uh, Daniel's bringing up snap to mesh. Snap to axes, snap to all. All of that. Let's snap it to mesh. You have to click that twice. Grow the size from there. And let's set that to three. No, four. And I'm going to come in and do multiplier of eight. This inter okay, there we go. So let's increase our tiles. Let's try to find our measurement. But you can see there's a kind of a crazy amount of potential in here. I've got my tile set to six. And that's pretty decent for getting that. That's my second head, third head, fourth head. So actually, I'm not doing too horrible. Because now what I want to do is I want to take my knee, I want to come down, sorry, my great trochanter, put my knee and put the bottom of my foot. This is what we're up to next. And we want to check these measurements and make sure we're in okay range. Shoulder's going to go a little bit on the high side, but I think we're actually, we're doing relatively okay here. So again, let me just walk through that because there was a lot of interactivity. What we're talking about here is using your grid size kind of as a freehand method and adjusting your tiles, trying to get the, the measurement that you need. And then you can come into snap and you can start to adjust where that is. So all your sub tools to some axes, which is the real world coordinate system. Come on, there we go. Snapping it to mesh, which is going to make that a little easier. So I'm going to set that to 13. I think it was 13.2, 13.5, and there we go. Now I'm going to just go and use the move brush and move everything up. And another little trick, if you increase this all the way, makes a big difference. You'll get almost no if zero distortion for your draw size. So I'm going to just up it there. There we go. A little bit of the ischial spine down there. And let's move forward. <laughs> 